Hello, welcome to part three of the video series. It's starting off with step nine, so that means a new box on the Lego side of things with the line from the movie, it's the ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs, as if parsec was a measurement of time. There's three bags in, to, the, to the Lego side, with the upper bag containing two more additional bags of smaller parts, two loose plates, and six tubes. On the right side of things, the Leppin has 10 bags, and you will notice that some of the bags are labeled with nine, some are labeled with Q. I mentioned that before, but I just wanted to show you that picture of that. Also, in addition to those, you, you will need six loose tubes also that are in another bag. I thought it was interesting that in the Lapin manual, they show those two brown tan plates as loose, but they're actually in, in that top upper left bag. All right, so that's pretty much it for the setup. Step nine is complete, and they built pretty much relatively the same. There was a couple issues on the Leppin side, though. Starting right here, see that little gun right there? So it basically will not lay flat. Leppin uses the older style pins, where Lego uses, I'm sorry, the older style clips, where Lego uses the newer style. But even with the newer style one, you can only get in maybe another couple degrees of it to go down a little bit further, but it will not lay flat like it does on the Lego side. Also on the Lego side in this general area right here, this guy is in there pretty tight, whereas on the Leppin side, it moves back and forth pretty easily. Finally, another thing to point out is these little roller parts right here. On the Leppin side, this is, goes on really tight, and so does this to the point where I almost damaged it, getting it on there. I can't get it all the way on without probably breaking it. And then you want to adjust this and then put it in, because once you put it in there, you can't really adjust it like you can on the Lego side. Finally, this whole plating section, like the lower one, was quite difficult to get on, to the point where I was pressing it so much that I felt like I was going to break something trying to get it on. So, like before, I had to adjust these these these. Uh, two by two plates with the pins in this assembly. I basically put this assembly in to the Technic red pin, that uh, red piece that's in there that you attach it to, and then I just press the whole plating onto that. That seemed to work out pretty well. You just have to line it up, take a little moment to line it up to get it in there and make sure it's attached well. But as I said, the way they had it, it I was really nervous that I was going to break some parts off or something like that. So there are your extra pieces. And I think that pretty much takes care of step nine. Sorry, I forgot to mention one little thing that kind of amused me a little bit. More evidence that Leppin is using Lego's instruction manual. There's the Lego piece with the Lego uh, detailing on it. That's the Leppin piece. It's just, but this is the manual from the Leppin. Just wanted to point that out. Okay, so here we have the setup for step 10. On the Lego side, we have five bags plus one inner bag in the upper left bag there. On the right, we have 11 bags for the Leppin set. And it looks like we are building the center portions of the underhull plus the lower gun. I've been wrong on this stuff before, but I kind of looked through it. Hopefully I'm right this time. Step 10 is now done. It builds pretty much the same for both models. I've inverted the Leppin one because there's a couple issues we're going to have to talk about, but also to show you what you're building. So you're basically building these little, the, the center ports thing where this side is the ramp and there's the other side. But And then you're building the gun port in the middle. But in the gun port in the middle there, you are going to have to do a little surgery because this window will not sit in there well and it separates all the bricks. So on these parts right here and as you can see from this picture there's a little bar in the middle you're going to have to cut that out for the ones where the window sets in otherwise it's going to separate these parts like this right here and to get it to set in the other issue is i have the gun out is just to show you that but these these guys right here are designed to fall out to the point where i'm seriously considering putting a little drop of crackle in there just to keep them in there because they, they don't stick in very well. And even on the Lego side, they don't hold in there all that great either. Better than 11, but not, but not so great. And then these guys are a little loose too. 
So that's pretty much it for step 10. And those are your extra parts. There was no extra parts for the left side, and there was no missing parts. And then on the, the left there, you have the Lego parts. Okay, on to step 11. Okay, so here's the setup for step 11. On the left, on the Lego side, we have three bags. The top bag having an inner bag of smaller pieces. On the right is Lepin. We have a total of eight bags there. And it looks like we're building the center uh, hatchways of the Falcon, the top parts. All right, back to you, Adon. This is gonna be a short one. Step 11 is done, and they pretty much built exactly the same for both ships. The only thing is these guys right here are pretty loose on the Lepin, but there are no other problems. There's your Lepin side, there's your Lego side, and those are your extra pieces. Wish I had more to tell you, but there's really no difference. All right, on to 12. Here's your setup for step 12. The Lego side has four bags with the lower left bag containing two more Inner bags with some smaller parts. On the right is the Lepin. We have 10 bags all together in there. We are building the some hull plating on the back of the ship or the engine sections. And it looks like Finn and BB-8 are also being built too. Okay, you know the routine by now. Talk to you when I'm done. Step 12 is done. It is also the end of part three of this, these series of videos. It's basically those three panels right there. On the left -hand side, this section right here is pretty tight, which I kind of like. It's designed so you, I guess you can pull it off to get to the, the, the inside for it, the interior. On the Lego side, it's pretty loose. So, but I would just probably lift off that entire panel anyway. They built exactly the same, about the same amount of time also. But these details right here and a few other pieces don't hold on that well. And these ring plates are a little looser on the left -hand side than they are on the Lego side. Here are your minifigures. It's basically Finn. But there is a significant change on the facial structure there. I don't know if I can kind of hide this, the light there. There you go. I don't know if you can see it or not. And there's little differences with the BB-8s. But that's going to be kind of hard to show you. So you can see that guy there. Uh, there's a little bit difference there for some reason as you can see in this picture the Lepin fin was completely taken apart or in pieces which is usually the way Lepin ships it but in this set it's the first time there was a character that was broken apart like that and then finally those are your extra pieces okay so on to step 13 and part 4